didn't hit record. Okay, well, here we go. Tyler! Want some ice cream? <laughs> My name is Tyler Rickenbach, and I'm a photographer, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm a lover of books. And today, on Storytime, I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite stories found in this book, the Photography Storytelling Workshop by none other than photographer and director Finn Beals. I was fortunate enough to go to Finn's homeland in Wales a few years ago. And I could see why he fell in love with that place and why he chose to stay there. It's because it's absolutely beautiful. You can't take a bad picture there. You know, it's foggy, it's raining, it's, it's moody. Things that photographers love, it's there. And it's not hard to find. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Finn. I wanted to share this book with you because I absolutely love what we are about to read. So the things that you're not gonna find in his online workshop, the things that you're not gonna find unless you spend countless hours searching the internet is what's found right here on page 14, where to start. Now, if you're a photographer, you're an author, you're a filmmaker, whatever the case is, whatever it is that you're trying to pursue, listen to this before you start. You shouldn't look at what's popular and simply repeat. I see this time and time again on platforms like Instagram, which are driven by popularity. Following a trend is a recipe for empty art. And by chasing the trend, you are being influenced as opposed to being the influencer. If you want to stand out from the pack, you need to hone your storytelling and follow your heart. Now let me say that again. Following a trend is a recipe for empty art. And by chasing the trend, you are being influenced as opposed to being the influencer. The fact that he says this in the very beginning of his book means you know, as, as they did in the army, the foot stomp, like the, you know, this is what you need to listen to. This is what you have to pay attention to. This, that's why it's in the first 14 pages, right after the introduction, how to use this book. Where do you start? Like, that's what he's telling you. Because it's that important. Is that if you want to create meaningful art that is meaningful to you, and you want to influence other people to do the same, you need to follow your heart. He continues to say, I can teach you techniques to improve your storytelling capabilities, which he absolutely does in his online workshop and in this book. But, he says, I cannot make you somebody you're not. I can't teach you that. I can't teach you that. But what I can do, what Finn can do, what other people can do, they can influence you to chase work, to chase something that is meaningful to you, to tell stories that have changed your life. Jodie Foster once said, if you want to move other people, you first have to be moved. In other words, if you want to change and influence other people, you first need to be influenced by whatever it is that you're doing. But if you do it, and you keep going at it, and you keep doing things that are meaningful to you, eventually you'll make it. Eventually, you'll reach the point where all of a sudden, maybe what wasn't popular is popular because you did it. You know, I've learned that if you do something long enough, and you're consistent at it, and you keep doing it day in and day out, eventually it will stick. And people will start to repeat it. So let me tell you a story. Well, in a field exercise in the National Guard, I was on, I was in charge of the radio. And I was a young uh, lieutenant at the time. 
And perhaps it wasn't the, the greatest idea for my battalion commander to hand me that responsibility of being on the radio, but I was. And so every hour on the hour, the radio watch would come on and we had to say, Roger out when they called the range that we were on. We were occupying range Mike 01. Luckily, we were the first ones to be called out. Range control would come on the radio and say, Mike 01. And they would, they would proceed with, if you're on your range, respond with Roger out. So Mike 01, I was like, okay, yes, it's my turn. And then I would say, you know, Roger out. So the very f f couple days I just, you know, I'd use a normal voice and I said, Roger out. But I was like, okay, let me see if I can influence people to do something, to s respond back in a way that I wanted to respond. I started to say, when they called, you know, Mike zero one, I would respond with Roger out in the voice of Batman because I absolutely love Batman. And I thought it was hilarious. I was super timid at first. I was like almost shaking with the radio, but then I did it. And then, you know, everyone else kind of kept going with, you know, the standard Roger out. However, it got to a point when the, the radio control came on the radio and they called Mike 01, they responded like I did in a deep voice like Batman. And then when I said, Roger out, the range after me did the exact same thing and responded, Roger out. And I tell you what, I'm getting chills thinking about it, but in that moment I was like, I did it. I actually influence someone to do something else, to go outside the norm. And this is, you know, in the military. But I did it and I realized that if you do something long enough, eventually it will stick. Now this is just one example, but I tell you that it works. And if you want to create meaningful art, if you want to create a fulfilling career, you have to follow your heart. If this video is meaningful to you and it inspired you to go out and do something that you haven't done before, maybe it was to follow your heart or to pursue a project that you've been thinking about but haven't done, hit subscribe and then go out and do that thing. If fear is the only reason not to do something, you have to do that thing. So go out, light a candle, make yourself known, and I'll see you next time.